But under President Kufu, ministers drove their VAs, their four by four vehicles. Intracity. It happened under Professor. Was there a clear directive then? This I mean, directive like has a always been there. It's always been there. It's one of the fine policies that we have in this country that never gets implemented so how do by we the reverse political this? class. How do we and that's what I'm the saying. That, look, if we don't want to, if, if we if we want to call a spade a spade and not be politically correct, which is what I'm trying to do here, and I hope that government could also do same. Let's stop making that a point that, oh, we're going to pass a policy and say that ministers should drive intercity in saloon cars when we know that it is fine, it's a fine speaking point, but in reality, it is not what happened. So just drop it. Drop it. Okay. And stop yes, the hypocrisy. Yes. Because yes, look, yes. I'm telling you that right now, right now, of the ministers that have been approved, huh, the ministers, almost 40 something ministers that have been approved, some of them come to parliament. We've seen some of them in, attending official functions in, in, in Tracity, and they've been driving V8s already. And please, to our viewers, when you see a government minister driving a V8 in town, please take a picture and let's you beat see, it at Joy okay. Reed. So